All right, so let's go to, um, let's create a MySQL database here. So we'll do MySQL dash user root dash P. Awesome. So show databases and great. Let's do a create database. We'll call it Wibbit. Now if I show databases again, we have our new database in here. So now let's create a table. So if I do show tables, you're going to see, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I have to do use the database that I want to use, then show tables. You see that there's actually, there's no tables in here. So let's create one. So let's create, um, and you know, I'm going to kind of do the, I like to use, I'm one of these guys that does the, uh, the capitalization for any of the SQL syntax. That's just me. So create table and we'll call it, um, uh, we'll call it messages. And now let's specify the uh, different fields that we want in our messages table. So we'll have the first one and we'll just call it time. And that'll just be a big integer. That'll just be like an epoch timestamp. And then we'll have something called message and we'll make that a varchar and we'll make it uh, 256 in length. And then once we do that, we should have a table. So if I show tables messages, awesome. So if I do select, sorry, sorry, I'm not following my own rules. Select star from tables. I'm sorry, table select star for messages. You see that there's nothing in there. So let's actually insert some data into that. So let's do insert into messages. So we'll do time and then we'll do message values. Let's say time will be, um, should just be Unix, U-N-I-X underscore timestamp. And then inside of these parentheses, we do now. I believe that's correct. Don't quote me on that. So don't get upset with me if that's not right. And then the message will be hello from Kevin. All right. Don't forget your semicolon. Again, this is this is not this is not a SQL tutorial, so uh, I'm sure that most of you guys can probably pick this up, even if you don't know anything about SQL. So now, if I select, you'll see that there is a timestamp and hello from Kevin. So now let's edit our PHP script so that we can uh, select this record. But actually, before we do, let's add a couple other ones. So hello from Kevin, hello from Wibbit, and then we'll do hello from Lamp. <laughs> sure, I love Lamp, right? All right. So if we select all. Here we go. We have these three records and they all have a different uh, timestamp associated with them. So again, not a SQL class, not a SQL course. So don't, hopefully you're not too upset about that. So we'll exit. And now here on our index.php, I'm going to remove it and I'm going to create a new one. So we'll do a nano index.php and I'll create my PHP tags and it's, you know, echo one just to make sure that it's working. Cool. All right, so now let's make a connection to the database. So we're going to create a, a variable. We'll call it uh, SQL. We'll set that equal to a new instance of my SQLI, SQLI. And inside of the uh, inside of the constructor, I'm going to pass in the host name, localhost. So we're just connecting to self. Next one is going to be the user ID. Uh, this is bad practice, but I'm using the, the root user ID because I could create another user, but you know, uh, that's not. Uh, don't feel like doing it right now. Um, the password, my password. And then from here, it will be uh, the database that we want to select. So we'll do Wibbit, open. Okay, so we save that. Okay, and then we'll do a SQL close. All right, so before we do anything, let's check to see if this connection actually works. So let's do an if SQL connection or connect ERR no. Let's do an echo error and then exit the script. So let's see what happens. Hopefully this will just not show anything. And then just to make sure, I'll say uh, down here, echo good. Okay, so we got a good. So just for the heck of it, let's do, let's change it from my password to my password one. So in this case, we should have a failure logging in and we have an error. So let's actually write the error out. So we'll do error colon uh, SQL dash error, uh, connect underscore error. All right, so we should get a error logging in or something. Access denied for root at localhost using password. Okay, great. Let me fix my password. Wonderful. Okay, so let's do a very simple select query. 